Hello and welcome to your quad finisher of the day. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I'm in a good mood today for no good reason. It's always good to be in a good mood, but four minutes quad finisher. That's all you need. All you need. If you just finished your heavy squats, your heavy leg presses, your heavy whatever you just did, finish with this. Four minutes is all you need. You need a dumbbell and or kettlebell and something to raise your feet a couple inches. That is it. We are going through four different move. Well, actually technically three different movements with a full rep into a pulsing rep of whatever that movement is. First movement is holding on to your dumbbell or kettlebell. Heels are going to be raised. We are doing full goblet squats, full range of motion, as low as you can get, standing all the way up. Then we are going right into pulsing goblet squats with the heels raised. So as soon as 30 seconds is over, we're going 30 seconds of the pulse. Staying here, okay? Then right into 30 seconds of narrow stance reverse lunges. So narrow stance being here, knee, make sure it stays over your toe, standing here. Then we are going into pulses for that reverse lunge. I'm scooting back, I think my head cut off. But we are staying here, okay? Back knee touches the ground ideally. If you gotta stay up higher, that is fine. But knee is over toe. We are trying to get quad dominant movement here, okay? So knee is over toe, like so. Then switch legs. Then the last movement is kneeling, lean backs or reverse Nordic cur curls, if you will, being here as far back as you can and up. Try not to break in the hips like I just did. Then the pulse for this movement will be twists, okay? Going, shifting weight from leg to leg. Can you move for the entire four minutes? We shall see. Can I move for the entire four minutes? We shall see. We are going in five seconds, four, starting with goblet squats. Heels should be raised, kettlebell and or whatever, dumbbell here, full movement. Ten more seconds and then we are staying low, as low as possible, and pulsing. If you can hold on to that dumbbell, whatever you got, do it. Two, one, pulse. After this is the reverse lunges. Narrow stance, remember? Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> stance lunges. That knee comes down as close to the heel as possible. If you want to make this a little more challenging, you can hold that dumbbell really for this entire workout. My goal is to move for four minutes, so I'm going to let it go. Three, two, one, we are pulsing. Weight should be in this front leg. <laughs> and you should feel it in this front quad. Holy shit. 15 seconds. Can I move for the full four minutes? Fail. No. <laughs> Five seconds and then we are switching legs. And other leg. No. range here. Again, weight is on that front foot. Two, one, pulse. Oh my god. 
got this. Weight is on this row. Five, four, three, two, one. Knee under. And. <coughs> Far back as you got. That's really all I got. This is not a fast movement. Two, one, lean back, twist. Oh my God, wow. This was catching me a little by surprise. Weight should be shifting from leg to leg on this. And I'm feeling it. 10 seconds. Six. And time. Wow, 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 you guys, wow. If that wasn't a quad finisher, I don't know what was. Um, I'm gonna have to do that like twice a week until I'm able to do it for four minutes straight. Holy shit, my legs are burning. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I have had a couple requests for more quick quad or quick finisher type workouts, so be on the lookout for more of these. I will see you guys all next time for your workout, your finisher, your warm up, whatever it is. Make sure you subscribe, share with your friends and family, get this YouTube channel out, and I'll see you guys all next time. Love you, bye.